People of Jackson's Ward 1 address their concerns about the expansion of a bar in their neighborhood. 12 News' is Anthony Howard joins us now with what was accomplished at the community meeting. Anthony? Well, Ward 1 Councilman Ashby Foote and the Ridgewood Park Homeowners Association feel there is still a lot more discussion needed when it comes to the expansion of MBAR. The communities around Ridgewood remain very concerned as the entertainment venue continues to expand, bringing more traffic to the area. Communication was better from all angles, we wouldn't be here tonight. And we wouldn't have left with a lot of unanswered questions. So we actually got nowhere. The Northeast Jackson community surrounding the night spot remain at odds following the groundbreaking of a new addition to MBAR. However, crime is not the only concern troubling people in the community. $8 million, $10 million for you to build an amphitheater. I mean, you can buy buildings for that much money. Anybody who says, don't worry, it's not going to make any noise here. They're either idiots or liars. Neighbors in the Ridgewood community pose concerns of zoning and coding violations. If a notice was provided, if a zoning action was held, or if there was a public, public hearing, and the answer is no, because this is a fire right approval. There was no zoning action, and it didn't go before the planning board. It is one of the things that is allowed by right in a C3 commercial zone. We need to revisit some of the zoning laws and make sure that they're really re protecting the people, and the businesses, and the citizens, and their residences that they're designed to protect. If Representatives of the MBAR assures people in the community that the expansion is not an amphitheater and the live music will not violate noise ordinances. And the owner of the MBAR has donated more than $20,000 for blue light surveillance cameras linked to the real-time command center. The bar, the bar also refers to, refers to the multi-million dollar expansion as additional seating for up to two to 300 people. The director of planning and, and development, Jordan Hillman, says she will personally monitor any potential noise violations. Melanie? Thank you, Anthony. And